Hello everyone, we are back heading off to Habitat for Humanity. Um, it's that, it's a, uh, it's a stroller. I'm not following the route it wants us to take. Uh, I want to take a right and we're going to actually stop past Ace Hardware if you can see this right here. I have a 50% off coupon I'm going to use. But, um... I don't think it's still, it still does not route through this parking lot correctly, as you can see. It wants to go backwards, and again, this is a one-way parking lot. It even reads the arrows on the ground that point the direction, but it won't do it. Let's wait until it reroutes us, and then we'll go ahead and get back up. Again, the speed limit also isn't 15 right here, it's a 35 mile an hour road. See if it can make it through this light. No, it's not going to. So it needs to. Okay. It needs to do this. God, not that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and press the camera button. We're gonna be a little bit more strict with it. Um. So there's a, there is a curb here, as you can see, this rounds off, so I'm not sure why I can't see that. Oh, good timing. Oh. Turned a little bit late, so the previous update was a perfect turn right there. But this just was not, maybe it's because I turned it, um, re-angled it there. And that could be why it wasn't good. Again, it also didn't see the speed limit. So right there, it changed to 35, but previously it was a 25 mile an hour speed limit. And so that was wrong. So it was going to 10 over the speed limit without me realizing it. That was a relatively recent change. So I'm not even used to it still. So it bricked too early for that stoplight there comes over the crest of the hill and sees that. Otherwise, this was a pretty good slowdown. See how it takes this roundabout here. We do have, of course, this car in front of us that's gonna make it, take it a little bit slower than normal. He's doing a slow down for yield, and I'm pressing it through. So it's trying to stop at yields again with this update. Otherwise, I was pretty good. Besides trying to stop at the yield sign, I was pretty good. Here is where we're going to turn into Ace Hardware. We'll see you on the way back out. We are back coming out of the Ace Hardware here. This route is going to be a little bit different today uh, because I need to stop past the grocery store. So we're going to go to Habitat first and then past the grocery store. It's definitely improved with the cross traffic. Should not go thinking about it clearly okay so that ended up working out that but that actually was appropriate uh if i had gone then i would have definitely afforded it a little bit more uh but otherwise very appropriate i was going to go to the grocery store first but because of um i might get cold items so i don't want them sitting in the car now it is fairly cold outside 46 degrees also, it was going to take a different route and not take us on this turn. This is always a test. We're waiting to see if we can make this turn right here. It's such a See how that car crossed the yellow line right there? That's what my car did. Uh, it, I was going to say, it's like it was about to do it. And it didn't. Okay, I'm pressing it. I'm not touching it. Okay, I'm pressing it to get through the intersection. I don't understand why. It, right now, it's going to come to a complete stop. 
if I don't press the accelerator, it was going to come to a complete stop. I just don't quite understand why it's doing that. It slowed a little bit too aggressively for that car right there, for sure. So it almost made that uh, turn back there, unfortunately. And it still has work to do, but it's not going in the wrong direction. It's definitely going in the right direction in terms of fixing it. So we are good to make a right turn. It's creeping, checking. It can go already go. And that was a good right on red. See so it turn on the left blinker here. We are it's because of poor navigation. I don't know why, like, even this. Uh, it turns on the blinker here. Fortunately, it has been getting over correctly right here. This is very good. Um, the nav, it's stopping too far back. There's a car behind me, so I'm going to have to go forward a little bit. Good to go. Stop in a little bit too hesitancy here. And so it made that with, I believe, one disengagement. This will be part of our drive, and I'll come back once I'm out. Okay, everyone, we are off from here. I did some walking around, so that's why it took so long. But um, through the magic of video editing, you guys don't have to wait. But, um, like I said earlier in the video, we are taking a detour uh, to the grocery store. And then we are then going back down Main Street. And that'll be the end of this section of this video. It's a bunch of chores today. See how it does with this. Remember this dip right here. It's creeping. There's no cars around me, so I'm just going to kind of let it do its thing. And it goes. It does good. Let's see if it can make it through this light here. I'm gonna let it go. This has to go straight across this intersection here. We're actually gonna come from the right when we come back up this way. So it made that well, it found found the yeah, the little jog to the left. We have to go across this traffic as well. having to press it because it it was just creeping too slowly there's it needs to know that's a one-way there's gonna be no traffic coming from the left and it really just needs to focus on the right which of course as a computer it's gonna be able to focus on both ways at the same time and be as if we had eyes coming out the side of our head now this is a blind turn to the left that I could barely see did that well see how it does this corner here. I think I've only done this a couple times on beta. And I think both times it did make it, so we'll see. It's, it, when I say it made it, it doesn't mean it didn't have a lot of hesitancy and issues. This car is pulled out too far. It still makes it fine. I'm having to press the accelerator. No, it's, oh, it's because I had the speed limit set too low. This road has no lines. Well, it's supposed to have lines. It, can't see them. As you can see, it's fading in and out. Wow, okay. It um, completely messed up that one. Let's see if it's going to turn into Harris Teeter at the right spot. That's right here. And once they add parking lot mode, then we'll be able to see if we can we can have a park. That's good. Yeah, I will bring us back once we are exiting Harris Teeter. We are leaving Harris Teeter. This is the route we have only taken once before, I believe.
Oh, it actually stops at a stop sign. Not gonna lie, I think most people just kinda glide on through. If there's not a car there, at least. I had to press the accelerator just a few times just to get through. Let's see how it. Why is it wanting to go straight? I can't see, Pen. Oh. It's kind of cut out in front of traffic for this. This car beside, um, cars in front. Um, that actually might have been the right move. I might have canceled that by accident. Oh, God. Breaking way too hard. It's like it doesn't look around curves for stoplights yet. I know it can see it. The wide-angle camera can see it, but it just, like, doesn't... It doesn't use the wide-angle camera to recognize stop stoplights yet. Which can make for rather quick braking. Yeah, so I definitely made the wrong mistake for not. It it, it made the right lane choice. Um, they get in over there, so we might have to force it over. Okay, so that worked well. It did it all on its own. So previous times going on this lane, trying to go right, would actually try and go straight here. But obviously we're going straight, so. We want to go all the way down Main Street. So it needs to stay, to stay in the middle lane here. Actually. Well then, it got in the wrong lane. I was wrong. It was about to go through the, the turn lane. For some reason, I thought it was the middle lane. You're supposed to be in the go through here. Uh, and of course, we need to navigate now to the very end of Main Street here. There's a spider running across the windshield here. He's been trying to stop here for some reason. I can't believe that's still in this version. It tried to go around these cars because I thought they were parked. Like it should be able, to, it saw this traffic light that was red, but it doesn't have the logic to be like, hey, traffic light's red, 99.99% .99 likely the cars in front of us are stopped for the light. That, like, I guess it's just still trying to learn that type of stuff and into the neural net, but yeah, it clearly it, um, I tried to go around cars again over the double yellow. Here's our twin. Much cleaner than mine right now. Okay, again, it was reset the speed back to 30 mile an hour, which is way, way too fast for the situation here. It should never go 30 ever on this road. And of course, now we're we're done. So I'm gonna take over. This is actually gonna be the end of this video. I decided uh, normally we go to all these. Um, in this case, I'm just gonna go straight home from there, uh, from from here, and I'm uh, gonna make change it up just a little bit. But the the route from here to all these only ever maybe gets one disengagement uh, so it's not like it's anything super crazy difficult um, anything you would miss uh, in the video but yeah this was a little bit different today a little bit uh, a couple extra challenges obviously I messed up in a couple areas but this is where a computer will have all these lane lines and maps and routing memorized and won't have to worry about it if you guys have any questions for me, um, feel free to give an update down below, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks, everyone. Bye.